Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight. We're taking a look at the 2006 edition of SmackDown, um, where basically um, WWE decided to make up their own rules uh, when it comes to the brand split between Monday Night Raw and an edition of SmackDown. Um, this edition of SmackDown opens up with Batista coming down to the ring and basically surrendering the World Heavyweight Championship. He said that he would... Uh, was involved in a match with Mark Henry over the weekend where he had an injury. Uh, this injury was not something that he was going to be able to work through. He was going to have to go have surgery, take a majority of time off, and he was not able to defend his World Heavyweight Championship, so he was surrendering it to Teddy Long. Teddy Long decided the easiest way for him to, to crown a SmackDown uh, champion was to have a 20-man battle royal uh, to crown the new champion. Um, coming into SmackDown, uh, basically, um, you would think that everyone would be involved in this uh, Battle Royal, but easily you could see even this Battle Royal was missing guys like Randy Orton. It was missing um, Chris Benoit, who were involved in a best of seven um, for the United States Championship earlier in the night. Um, you know, of course, Booker T was the original man wrestling against Chris Benoit, but he was injured and had to be replaced by Randy Orton. Why Randy wouldn't want to pull double duty um, or basically turn Booker T down to, to get a chance at the Battle Royal for the World Heavyweight Championship, I honestly have no clue. Uh, but the participants, you know, pour down into the ring. The early favorites uh, to win the Battle Royal would be uh, John Layfield, the former uh, World Heavyweight Champion, uh, as well as... Uh, uh, the, both members of Eminem, who are teaming up with Mark Henry. Uh, at the time, they had a little stable going on with Molina. Um, other guys in the ring are honestly just there to sort of fill it up. We see a lot of tag team guys out there. Um, we see a lot of guys like uh, Matt Hardy. We see Road Warrior Animal, William Regal, Paul Burchill. Um, you know, a lot of guys out there that you know there's no chance in hell that is going to win this. Other, I guess you can say, main eventers that fill out the ring would be Bobby Lashley and Rey Mysterio. Um, both of these guys would get big entrances coming down to the ring and sort of hyped up like with Taz, like, Oh, wow, look at this. Business is picking up. Um, but this Battle Royal um, basically is met by a surprise with the 20th man um, to come into the Battle Royal, which would be Kurt Angle, who is making the jump from Monday Night Raw. And this is sort of where WWE is just making things up as they go. Obviously, Batista um, had big plans at being the champion um, of SmackDown for a long time. He, he sort of was the flagship guy. He, he was the guy that switched sides with John Cena in the draft. And um, when Batista went down, I think they decided they needed another main event talent. And they went over to Monday Night Raw, and they took Kurt Angle. The way they covered this up was basically on WWE.com. They stated that Kurt Angle had in his wrestling contract that he would be able to jump from Raw to SmackDown and from SmackDown to Raw whenever he would have a chance to wrestle for a world championship. And this fits it. It was a battle royal. He got a spot. It was for the championship. So he was able to jump uh, as he's making an entrance. Um, basically, they, they keep saying, that's a Raw guy, that's a Raw guy. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I guess they're, they're thinking that Kurt Angle is going to win the championship and, and jump back um, and um, you know be a member of Monday Night Raw but have SmackDown. SmackDown's title. They weren't really thinking that he had was coming home and was going to start wrestling for SmackDown exclusively. They even hype up the fact that he has a big match against Shawn Michaels um, on um, on Monday Night Raw uh, the following week. Um, when when Kurt is making his way towards the ring, he is being led by Davari, basically sort of showing that I guess he is still a heel at the time. Um, he was Monday Night Raw's biggest heel, and he was having a, a feud against John Cena, if I remember right. Um, that uh, I thought he was like one of the main guys over there. Um, when 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 he's making his way to the the ring, basically JBL backs everybody back in the ring and basically says, "This is mine. I'm going to take care of him. He's the leader of SmackDown. He wants to be the guy to throw Kurt Angle out." Kurt gets into the ring and immediately throws JBL over the top rope, and it is on from there. Um, he, he throws out another guy, which 
I, I'm not even sure who it was, but he went over the top. And then it basically, uh, Kurt is jumped by about three or four guys. Uh, but Kurt is, is still fighting everybody off. You can tell that this is sort of a SmackDown uh, versus Raw moment of basically the SmackDown guys not wanting Kurt um, to win the belt. Uh, but uh, basically, um, Kurt is one of the guys that really dominates uh, his way um, through this. Yeah, I believe he has five eliminations very early on um, in, in the match before um, Mark Henry knocks Kurt Angle out of the ring but under the rope. Uh, and then uh, Mark Henry um, gets out of the ring to start fighting with Kurt Angle. At this moment, Kurt Angle locks up Mark Henry like he's going to hit him with a German uh, suplex on the outside. And Mark backs his way back up into the ring, uh, basically giving... Uh, Kurt Angle, a kidney shot, which sort of knocks him down. Uh, and then Mark Henry has the advantage, where basically uh, Mark Henry um, knocks um, Kurt Angle into the announce table. I believe it was a gorilla press slam. Um, and, and then the table broke. This is what sort of lays out um, Kurt Angle for the majority of the match, where you forget that he is out there. Um, Mark Henry gets back into the ring, where he goes face-to-face -face with Bobby Lashley. Um, they exchange blows for a minute, but basically... Mark Henry throws Lashley over the top rope. Um, from there, it gets down to the point where uh, Rey Mysterio eliminates both members of Eminem, uh, leaving it with Mark Henry against Rey Mysterio. Um, and they have a good little bit of a match inside the Battle Royal that lasts for about two or three minutes. I believe at this time in 2006, Rey Mysterio had not been World Heavyweight Champion. Um, so the, the fans are hot for it, and they really, really like it. But at, at um, um, one moment... Uh, Mark Henry uh, is able to eliminate Rey Mysterio, where people think that Mark Henry's won the match, and people are, you know, sort of not knowing really what to do, but the bell doesn't ring, and at this point, you see Kurt Angle emerge from the broken table, getting up, and the fans start to really cheer for him, which really doesn't make sense for the fact that Davari um, is still with him, because Davari is giving instructions to get up, get in the ring, and go after him. Uh, Kurt Angle gets back up and he enters back into the ring. And him and Mark Henry battle uh, for a few minutes before Mark uh, Henry is dumped over the top rope by Kurt Angle. Of course, this has a little bit of controversy, a lot like the Shawn Michaels and British Bulldog moment of the of the Royal Rumble. Uh, Kurt and uh, Mark Henry fall uh, both about the same time. Mark Henry lands both feet down, but Kurt Angle is able to make it where one foot lands before the other. And they say that both feet did not hit the floor. That that being that Kurt Angle wins the World Heavyweight Championship. Confetti fills the SmackDown arena. And Kurt Angle now is your babyface champion uh, after beating um, Mark Henry. Um, I can honestly tell you from here, I don't know where they went. Um... Other than Kurt sort of being the main man of SmackDown yet again and holding that World Heavyweight Championship. But this was always a moment that I always remember. Um, I know that SmackDown has had the uh, World Heavyweight Championship change hands twice in Battle Royals. And the other one being by Great Khali. But uh, I'll tell you the truth. I don't want to relive that one.